So Target is the new Bud Light, and it's a it's a thing that we've been talking about for quite a while on the channel so far for the last few days to almost a week now, and rightfully so. What Target has been doing with their merchandise, what Target has been doing with their virtue signaling, what Target has been doing by partnering with certain creators that are definitely not a good look for their brand, they have been doing an ungodly amount of things to make sure that their ESG scores get really, really prime and high, especially since they're getting ready to come out with June, with his, uh, which is, of course, Pride Month month as you guys are aware and it's going to get chaotic from there but what am i talking about well apparently target just recently has lost now officially 10 billion dollars in just 10 days whereas before they lost 9 billion dollars in six days so obviously it is slowing down slightly ladies and gentlemen but the fact of the matter is they are still losing market cap it is a beautiful thing to see and we're going to get into it to celebrate so of course before we do guys just consider giving this video a like to push us out into the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're on our way to 22,000 subscribers it says Target loses $10 billion in 10 days as stocks fall following boycott over LGBTQ-friendly kids' clothing. This is from the New York Post. It says Target has lost $10 billion in market valuation over the last 10 days as the popular retailer continues to face backlash over its pride-themed clothing line for children. Now, I, I like how they love to simplify it, right? So a lot of these articles, they like to simplify the backlash that Target is receiving. No, no, no. We need to get very specific over what people are complaining about, right? People are complaining about the fact that they are merchandising certain kinds of merchandising clothes to children to encourage gender dysphoria. That's essentially the problem. They have these kids marketing adult swimsuits, right? Because they want to classify them as adult swimsuits. Even the extra, extra, extra small that's made to fit on a child's body, they wanted to classify it as adult because they didn't want to get backlash for labeling it as kids' clothes. When we all know that's exactly what it was for they even used a young under 18 girl to market these clothes and this swimsuit on their website i showed it in my last video so you can't tell me you're not marketing these clothes to kids just because you thought you were smart and labeled the clothes for adults when we all know those small sizes are not for your average adult now it says a week ago target enjoyed its stock value at 160 dollars 96 cents a share but following the calls to boycott the minneapolis-based retailer over its pride collection in quotations of course pride the value plummeted and closed friday at $138.93 a share. Wow. That is almost a 14% drop, ladies and gentlemen. A 14% drop in market value in just 10 days. That is abysmal. Oh my God. Now, don't get me wrong. I know they don't care because at the end of the day, they're going to get their ESG money. They're going to make sure that they're going to get those scores up because they're more afraid of not getting the maximum score than they are actually keeping the scores lower while maintaining their profits on the front line. They want those scores to be high. They want to be able to take loans from BlackRock and all these companies. They want to be able to do that. It says the nearly 14% drop in value for the blue chip stock roughly translates to a $10.1 billion dollar loss in valuation to just 64.2 billion for target which has nearly 2,000 stores nationwide now i said this on my live stream my solo hypnocast live stream every day we do it at 8 p.m eastern so come check it out we were talking about the fact that i think it's kind of hilarious that they only have 2,000 stores nationwide whereas walmart has like 4,700 stores nationwide in the united states that is insane like they're not even keeping up anywhere close and their only way to make money is to virtue signal to lgbtq you just lost an ungodly amount of money on your stocks and it will probably go back up let's be real it probably will but right now you are getting smoked and it is terrible the plummet stands as the retailer's lowest stock price in nearly three years the last time the company saw a drop nearly this big came in 2022 after the stocks equalized following an unprecedented surge during the pandemic target which has been caught in the middle of america's culture wars over gender it's a lot more than gender, ladies and gentlemen. It's about the kids as well. Moved its pride section in some southern stores away from the front last week after it said displays were knocked over by protesters who also confronted workers. I still to this day find it amazing that they were so quick to act when it came to their pride merchandise and moving it away because of uh, confrontations in their stores. But they weren't this fast to act when their stores were getting destroyed, looted, and burned to the ground. They actually enabled it. They actually supported it and encouraged it, which is hilarious to me. But they want to say, oh, this is violent. This is violence? Really? Seriously? It's amazing what they're willing to do just to stay quiet. But this is the problem right here. You see this? A pride onesie for a toddler. A pride onesie actually for an infant, not even a toddler. An infant. Pride infants. That's what they want. They want it all the way down to the youngest of the young that they possibly can go. 
It says the retailer also said it would remove items from its collection, which I have yet to see them do for a majority of the items. They've only removed some of them, but most of them are still up and live either on the website or in the stores, even though they have come out and said that they're going to remove them uh, nationwide from all stores, not just Southern stores. But again, they're saying one thing and doing another because Target is full of liars. But they did not specify which ones. Among the ones that garnered the most attention were tuck-friendly women's swimsuits that allow trans women, who are obviously uh, men in women's face, who have not had gender affirming mutilations to conceal their dicks as well as rainbow themed children's clothing while many have likened the conservative boycott against target to that of Bud light which saw sales crash after partnering with transgender influencer dylan mulvaney texas senator ted cruz doubted the backlash against the retailer would be as impactful speaking on his podcast friday the republican said that multiple alternatives exist to replace anheuser-busch brands the same is not so for target and honestly he kind of has a point I, I really can't disagree with him because again target even though they have only half of the stores that Walmart does, they are still considered a competitor against one of the biggest national retail brands there is, which is Walmart. Even Amazon retail stores, like they're all trying to compete and Target is definitely one of the bigger ones. And there's not too many alternatives for an all-in-one kind of store on a mass scale like that. There are mom and pop shops, but let's be real, a lot of these people are looking for the big box retailer because with that comes sales, price reductions, it's not as expensive, obviously, so they can take advantage of it as a consumer. So it is harder to find a replacement for Target. But at the end of the day, you could definitely go somewhere else. If you really wanted to, if it meant a lot to you, you can easily find somewhere else for a couple more bucks to find your food, to find your clothes, to find your electronics. You can definitely do that. Target is not a one-stop shop, all-be-all kind of store. You can find replacements pretty easily. It says he instead compared to the, the retailer to Disney, which suffered backlash after uh, speaking out against Florida's so-called Don't Say Gay bill last year, but continues to be a financial giant. Now, the only reason uh, Disney's financial giant is because of their theme Parks, just an FYI. And not only that, too, Disney owns real estate around Disney parks that they probably collect money from and rent and whatnot. So they have multiple avenues of income that aren't related to their entertainment sector. Disney, obviously, on the grand scale, when you're talking about the national scale of entertainment and providing movies and television shows, they are bombing tremendously. They are absolutely losing hundreds of millions of dollars on most of their movies. They are failing tremendously for anybody that understands how the money really works. But when you talk about when you talk about their theme parks, when you talk about whatever shops they own, they're making massive amounts of money in their theme parks because at the end of the day, kids, if, if a kid wants to go to Disney World, a lot of parents are not going to tell them no. Even if they absolutely hate Disney, they're still going to want to give them that experience that unfortunately Disney does provide. Now, you can go to Universal, which I highly recommend you should go to Universal instead of Disney. But again, some people just, the, the name Disney is very big. It's very big and it's hard to get over something that nostalgic for a lot of people. It says there's only one Snow White or Cinderella or Toy Story from Pixar. That is a difficult product for many people to give up permanently. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that 100%. Everything he's saying, I agree with. Ironically, uh, the Texas politician said the efforts against Target could quickly wilt because historically conservatives have typically have typically not been very good at boycotts. Well, ask Bud Light how that's going. <laughs> ask Bud Light how that's going and if it's letting up anytime soon. Target CEO Brian Cornell has defended the LGBTQ-friendly merchandise, saying selling them was the right thing for society. Target didn't immediately return a request for comments Sunday. So ultimately, at the end of the day, guys, uh, Target is going to continue to lose their market cap. They're going to continue to lose valuation and dollars as this boycott does continue. Don't get me wrong. I think this is more of a boycott than Bud Light ever was because now you're talking about kids, man. You're talking about literally marketing to children. You know, you had the accusation about Dylan Mulvaney marketing beer to kids on TikTok. That's one thing. But this is Target actually trying to go after your kids they are literally targeting your kids so unfortunately if you are a shop of target you do have a choice to make and you're more than capable of making that decision on your own you're a grown adult you could spend your money how you like if you want to go spend it at target by all means go for it but as i always say you should at least know where your money is going to so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out